be mindful of the extra sounds, like turn your head away from the mic or whatever. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Tuesday Fish Talk Live. Beyond Wednesday, exactly. Today is episode number 31. We got a great show. We got some new software. We're going to show you guys what it looks like on the inside of your fish. All right, everyone. Go ahead and share this out. So what we do every week is we ask our viewers, let's turn this down just a little bit. That song's a little aggressive. What we do is we ask our viewers to share this in your group, share them on your personal page. If you feel like sending a personal message, inviting your friends to come. If we get 100 people on the show tonight, we are gonna go ahead and bypass the spin to win wheel and just give away some free fish. So we got a great show tonight. Things are a little different, a little different format pretty cool but now's the time to share share them out right now let's see how many shares we can get uh if each person uh shared one or two of their favorite groups i'm sure we can hit 100 and let's let's make that our goal tonight All right, everyone, welcome to Fish Talk Live on Wednesday. Uh, we're trying different tests. It looks like we're having a little bit of a bandwidth problem. It looks like a few things are kind of caught up. It's all right, though. We're still going to have a great show. All right. We're almost ready to go. A few more minutes, one more minute, and we'll start the show. Feel free to share this out. Alright everyone, let's do this. Welcome to Fish Talk Live. Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to Fish Talk Live, everybody. This is a Wednesday night version of Fish Talk Live here with Ron Demers. Uh, this show, Fish Talk Live, is a live multi-stream show that we are taking on with the socials. We stream live to Periscope, YouTube, Twitch, uh, live on the Fish Talk Live page. And uh, it's, we're 31 episodes in. And uh, it's just a really cool show. Uh, we do this for Ron's uh, Facebook group, which is Ron Demers Sick League Clubhouse. It's an awesome group. And uh, so we're a live gamified show. What we do every week is we have a topic in which we discuss uh, some of the hottest topics in fish keeping hobby. Uh, we also are a gamified show. So there's the spin to win wheel. We show member videos of the week. Uh, have fish of the weeks uh, specials from Ron Cichlids and things like that. So every week I get to introduce uh, my good friend. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about him. Ron Demers is from uh, is from West Palm Beach, Florida, and he's an African cichlid breeder. He's been doing it for about 28 years. 
And he's also the guy behind Ron Cichlid Food. So if you've ever tried that, you know how awesome that is. Fish just go crazy for that. He's also an avid hunter, uh, fisherman. Um, he's an awesome husband and father. I got to meet his family. They're just super awesome. But anyway, I'm proud to call him my friend. Here he is, Mr. Ron Demers. What's going on, Ron? What's up, brother? Thank you for that introduction. Yeah, yeah. So you've uh, had a pretty good um, day today as far as having to go to the doctors and everything. You feel, uh, like, feel all right? <laughs> um, yeah, but I wouldn't call it pretty good. But Yeah, you know what I mean, though. So, yeah, we might as well just get it out. Um, there's only a handful of people that, that know what's going on with me. Um, I found out today that I have a massive herniated disc in my neck. And I am kind of on bed rest until I see a neurosurgeon tomorrow. And um, it looks like I'm going to have to have emergency surgery on my neck. And I'm not allowed to do anything at all. So most of you guys who have a fish order have already gotten a um, explanation. Um, but until further notice, uh, I'm going to be kind of laying low on the shipping until I get my health back in order. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Ron. You know, so um, you've got a lot of people that love you. You got a lot of people on the social media. It keeps everything going for you, and we, we just want you to get better. So um, what are they talking, surgery, maybe next week? Um, I see the neurosurgeon tomorrow. Usually it takes months to see one. Luckily, the doctor I saw today knows that this is a serious issue, and... I could be paralyzed at any minute if I do something stupid or even get an offender better or just pick up a five gallon bucket of water. I could be paralyzed. I, I saw the results week? today and um, it's not pretty. So, yeah. um, well, speaking of fish and backs, <laughs> we're going to look into some fish today. Um, so earlier today, everybody, when Ron was telling us that he's got these issues and that he's going to have to back off a little bit. So I'm going to run the show today. I'm going to also do, do the topic. We're going to talk about uh, fish anatomy. It's going to be like fish anatomy 101. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we're going to touch the basics, but I have this really awesome software that um, is a 3D model. I can move it around and I can turn the circulatory systems on the respiratory system so we're going to take an in-depth look at fish and just kind of check it out and and do that um i get to do that today what are the, some of the shout outs you seen anybody on there ron um i see edward figaro um jackie moore brent bonstetler robert reed uh, larry deskins kevin meisner mindy pulse well, it looks like we got about 66 uh, live viewers right now, which is pretty cool. Let me give you an example to everyone. So we've been doing 31 shows. We have over uh, 118,000 views. Uh, those views will usually come in replay. Uh, it would be awesome if we could get all those people on live. But it usually comes in, in replay. Um, we have been trying to figure out an Internet issue. That's just nuts. At this time of night, you know, at, at, as soon as the show's over, right about 10 o'clock here, I mean, it's perfect. Humming like a, like a supercharged V8. But, um, so that's what's going on here. Uh, apparently, we got through last week with a beautiful show, not hardly any frames dropped. And today, we've already dropped over 66% of the frames. So anyway, we apologize about that. Um, but we do our best. We try very hard. Uh, both Ron and I work extremely hard to make this show really good for you, not only in content, but fun, you know, and we understand that when it's a little jerky or it's a lot less fun. So it's, it turns what we always tease about. It turns out to be a podcast. <laughs> Uh, yeah. so, so anyway, um, some of the shout outs I'd like to do, um, as you guys all know, Ron's got uh, eight groups, Facebook groups, and really awesome groups. Some of the memorable ones are the ones to think about are the Lake Tanganyika group is really starting to take off. So is the Mbuna Hangouts really cool. New World Cichlid, uh, Hangout as well as the Marketplace is pretty cool. And then my, one of my all time favorites, if you like looking at big, beautiful tanks is the amazing tank showcase. So you can find those by going to Ron Cichlids. Go to the tab that says groups. When you click that tab, all, the, all of his groups will show up there. 
Um, so I've let me see. I've got to do one or two quick things here. Um, there's a chat bot. Okay, and so we've been using it. It's really cool. Some people are still kind of getting used to it, but hey, you know what? This is the 21st century. <laughs> this is the way things are kind of going. So, um, you know, just just understand that. Well, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, it's a change post. Excuse me. All right. So um, I'm going to tell you just here in one second. As soon as I click this button, as soon as I save and make it active. Okay, so the way it works, and it's really cool. What we use the chatbot for is to supply information to you, uh, allow you to get one touch call in if you're on your mobile phone, uh, to get information about our sponsors, to get information about the show. Uh, we're going to start um, funneling all the winners for the uh, prizes through the chatbot. Um, that way we can have it in one place. Everybody knows where to go. We can get your 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 info and get your prizes out to you quickly now you can get to the chat bot by typing in star info right now you can type in star ron cichlids you can type in star even new england associate uh, cichlid association so and you'll see why because we've been promoting the uh, aca so anyway that's the chat bot it's really cool we here's our promise to you though everybody is that we're not going to spam you the only thing we're going to tell you about is the show uh, so it's one or two message a week. Subscribe to the Fish Talk Live chatbot. You'll love it. Uh, there's We do secret giveaways um, and things like that, like invites to secret giveaways through there. Well, just and, like the Memorial Day sale, you you sent out a um, preferred members thing. and um, Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And raffles and stuff like that. Yeah, so what we did for Memorial Day, <laughs> I guess we can talk a little bit about it, Amron. Uh yeah. Memorial Day... Uh, it's which I felt bad because you know Ron's having this health thing, so it's kind of like a, a weights and measures thing. I, I, I increased his workload by I think it was six hundred and fifty-seven percent. But here's the thing: is that hopefully that little extra cash flow helps you to kind of you know have a lull, you know, and we won't try to sell so many fish. Anyway, what I did was on Friday I opened it up to five hundred and eight people that were involved with the chat bot on Ron Cichlids. And I told you about the sale so that you had first dibs, first pick on which fish that you wanted to get. And so that's that, a big deal, man. It really is. Yeah. People who know me and know my fish that getting that was a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So that went really well. Super excited. Happy Memorial Day to you, Ron, and all that. Um, again, I, it's always, it, to me, it's a little clouded in what you're going through right now. So I apologize. Yeah. I feel bad no, for you, man. No, I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, um, that's how that is. That's the chat bot. Again, it's star info, um, subscribe, you know, if you unsubscribe, then you won't get, you won't have that chance to, to win that stuff, but it is active right now. You can try it out. Star info. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, speaking of chat bot. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to go right to giving away stuff at the top of the show. All right, so like I said, uh, we do secret invites for the chat bot. So there we go. We're going to do that right now. We're going to pick a spinner for that one. So let me go ahead and pull up the woo picker. I can get this here. It'll pop up here in a second, I think. Come back. Let's do it one more time. All right, come on. Uh, oh, because it's in the wrong one. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Trust me. Trust me. Here we go. <laughs> it's showing up now, but it's just it's way off the page. So give me one second. This is going to be for these those chatbot peeps, and they know what's up. All right. So here's today's show. I'm going to go ahead and pick winner. We're going to do this really, really f super fast. I'm not going to tell you all that. You've guys seen enough shows to know what I do. I pick it one time. Whoever comes up the first time is not eligible. Uh, so or it's not a winner. So I'm going to unpick that one right there. And we're going to go by hashtag. And there it is. So our first chatbot winner is. What's that say? Um. Uh, uh, yeah, yes. yeah. I apologize. Let me move it right here so you guys can see it right here. Here's the winner that pulled up. Um, yeah, we apologize if we brutalize your name, but it's 
Aguilard, I'm hoping, Aguilard. So, Wade, when we go to spin the spin the wheel, uh, you are up and first on that. Anyway, let's, uh, I, I, there's a few shout outs. Again, there's um, some groups that we're supporting. I haven't heard it from any admins of groups. I think, you know, we talk about the, you know, when people get kind of crazy, like they're, <laughs> they're like, they don't like to see people succeed, right? They're like, you know, just kind of poo-poo the show. So anyway, here's our call out again, and maybe you can do it, Ron. Invite some, you know, invite them to to contact us and let us promote some groups. Yeah, any of you groups you guys want to shout out a little, you know, publicity, so to speak, just um, reach out to us, uh, to Fish Talk Live, and uh, give us your group name, shout out, and, um, you know, um, share with us. And, um, you know, on, on our Tuesday or Wednesday Fish Talk shows, um, we can share with you. There's no reason why we... We all can't have a great relationship and, and help each other's groups. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we, we our coverage is about three to 6,000 people a week. Um, so that's pretty good on that. Here's what our promo is today. And uh, I got to take a deep breath because <laughs> I got I to gotta be transparent for our audience. I get so bummed out when, when the Internet is choking. And it just like I... I work every week about nine hours to put this show together <laughs> and it's like, you know, when it doesn't pull, come off, it's just like it takes and you have full control over everything except this. Yeah. And that's, and yeah. that's the part that sucks is yeah. the, the thing that you don't have control over. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and I've, I've purchased the fastest internet I can find in the, in the area and all that. Anyway, here's our episode promo. This is part of that music that I pulled out from that gin and whiskey. Try to find out something a little bit more soul, country soul. Ugh. All right, so we're talking about fish anatomy today. And uh, how are you feeling, Ron? I don't know. I got a pretty good sized Percocet in me right now. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to be laying down, but... Yeah, so originally Ron and I talked a little bit. We, we said, um, uh, how about if if we you start up with the show, and then I'll run the show topic, and we'll look at some fish, talk about some fish, and then... Uh, I'm just a viewer tonight with a microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Ron. Let me send you a half pound of food. Hey, all right. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, so... Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about fish anatomy and I'm um, trying to pull up this one graphic. So I was asking uh, our moderators too. So let's just go into that and we'll get people to do that. I would like to see, would you guys please put in the chat? We read the chat every week too, the full chat. Will you put in the chat like some episodes that you want to see? Um, we've got some, uh, that we've outlined, but we're still looking for the right ones. And we like, what we like to do is group them. So if you noticed, uh, May was grouped with filtration, biomechanical substrate being part of kind of part of that and everything. I'm going to give you, before we jump into the topic, I'm going to just give you a crazy look at this thing. Look at this guy. <laughs> so this is our, uh, 3d, uh, fish right here. And I can take his skin off. We can start looking inside him. But anyway, we'll get to that in just a second when I'm uh, a little calmed down. So the call into the show, um, again, this being a podcast tonight would, would be great. <laughs> Here's the uh, phone numbers and everything for that. Like I said, if you type in star info into the chat right now, you can also call in on your mobile with one button click. So you type star info, it pops up, you'll see in there call in and you can just call right in. So we're hoping we're going to have some call ins tonight. All right. So I can't, I, I, can you hold the, hold the show for like two or three minutes? Uh, uh, something's not loading here and I got to try to figure that out. Okay. I can't, can't start my deal. You want me to just do uh, shout outs? 
Yeah, just talk to people, see what's going on. Maybe do this one right here, this New England uh, Cichlid Association, ACA. Can you see that? Or is it too small? Yes. Because I can make it bigger. Let's make it like 14 point. There you go. Can you read that? Yep. There we go. Yeah. Oh, you took it away. Sorry. Well, I got to do it. I got to do it. It's crazy. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. Go ahead. Um, let me just do shout outs then. That would go away if you do what you got to do. I can remember everything else. So um, I'd like to shout out um, um, West Coast Cichlid Exchange, um, Isaac Garcia, um, Southeast Fish Addicts, TJ Huffstetler. Um, one of these guys are our moderators. Um, Crown Royalty Cichlids, uh, Nathan Pate. Um, Robert Esperanza from Malawi Madness. Uh, Gigi from uh, Cichlid Madness. Everybody knows Gigi. Um, What's up, Gigi? We miss you on the show. Sometimes I'll see him on the show and sometimes I don't. He was there a little while. He, uh, we, we, we need to have him, uh, we need to have him call in one of these days, but you know, he, he already knows a lot about fish. So I don't know what questions we could actually answer for him. Um, but shout out also to Frontosa lovers, uh, Scott DeFour, um, fish tubers, notification squad, uh, Darcy Lynn, um, Walter Kelly from, United Tanks of America, one of our new moderators. Uh, thank you, all of you guys, um, all my moderators. You guys do an awesome job, and thanks for helping out um, maybe a little more than normal in the next few weeks while I figure out what's going on with me and uh, get on the road to recovery. So I appreciate all of you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Go, Go ahead. ahead. I was going to just take over a um uh the, for, as far as the new england cichlid association that's our friend paul Weiser. so big shout out to paul and his group new england cichlid association is um based in connecticut they have a paid membership approximately 200 people um the they are the host club for the uh, american cichlid association convention the conventions being held in cromwell connecticut july 18th and 22nd of this year the speakers include jim cummings dr les kaufman oliver lucanus dr wayne libel dr adrian indemeyer dr paul loisal larry johnson and lawrence can <laughs> i got through it all i haven't said that in 10 episodes anyway they got four thousand square foot by uh vendor room they're doing bio tank biotope cichlid tanks uh competitions they're gonna have a banquet on saturday night multiple auctions throughout the weekend but it's just a cool place to get together meet some of those people you see online and you're talking with and all that so that's new england cichlid association the other thing that i wanted to talk about is aquashella you may have remembered with uh, our past guest from episode, I think it was 10, uh, Joey Mullen. Uh, he was invited to speak at the Dallas Aquashella, which is turning out to be this big kind of, I don't want to totally call it this kind of music festival type of fish festival, but it's turning out kind of like that. Uh, it's looking really cool. So the next one is in Chicago, September 28th and 29th. Uh, it should be really fun. I think I'm headed up that way with... Uh, uh, Chris, we're going to, Chris team, Aquadarians, I think we're going to drive up. I think Ron might come if he can get his, yep. all his stuff together. And then we might even do like a fish talk live from up there and all of that. So that's it. That's uh, pretty much the business part of the show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start on this topic. Uh, if you want to come back and meet with us, if you need to lay down and whatnot, Ron, that's fine. I'm going to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's the software I got. Now, I'll post this link, I think, in the show. Um, it's really a cool, 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 cool software. Let me uh, reset it, bring us back home, um, because it does all these crazy stuff. I have so many windows and tabs open. Okay, here, let's make it dark and do that. So the first thing we can do is uh, we can, let's look at the outside. Let's look at the fins and all of that. So uh, when we're looking at, um, our fish these are the different parts of the fish with the fins and I'm going to show you some really cool things about this fins once we get the skin off and we start looking at the muscles when I was looking at it, I was like so impressed 
with the fins, how each one of these spines has a muscle attached to it. I was just, anyway. So this is the anterior dorsal fin. I can go ahead and um, put these labels on there when I click on it. I can also make it purple. So that's the anterior dorsal fin or the uh, ribbed fin. It's a harder one. And this is usually called like the soft ray or the posterior do dorsal fin. Those are the two fins on top. So there we go. That's our uh, top fins. The, the fin in the back that most of us call the tail is actually, its proper name is caudal fin. And we can see that there. Uh, the fin underneath the vents here um, in the, towards the back here is the anal fin. Um, I was looking for a name here. This is what I was afraid of. I doused myself for about three hours of all this <laughs> knowledge. I was afraid I'm going to miss that one word. Anyway, there's a section here. I'll get to it when I look at my notes. Uh, this is the anal fin behind the vent. Uh, you've got your pelvic fins here. Um, and I'll show you something. There's two there. You see that? You see how we got two fins there? And that's a cool program. This is a perch. Okay. It's a tol tol Tolstoy, I think is the way you say it. It means a bony fish. 96% uh, of the fish that we deal with are all you know, considered bony fish and have pretty much the same anatomy. So you got two pelvic fins um, and you also have two pectoral fins. Yeah. So those are the fins. That's kind of how that looks um, in there. Um, and then I, I also on the outside surface that we look at, is, some people call this a gill flap, but it's ap actually called the op opculum. Op <laughs> my mouth is so dry and, and I'm listening to another conversation in the, my back of my ear. Pick it, my microphone's picking up another conversation. So here's the, uh, this is what they call a gill flap. And there's actually put different parts of that. There's the pre, say it for me, Ron. Pre op, per, uh, no. Yeah, it's op, op coulomb. And then this is a op. Too many big words. Yeah. That's just the gill flap area. Yeah. There's yeah. the eyeball. There's the mouth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we want to kind of do a good job on this. So that was going to do, do it like that. Um, some of the other things here, obviously, you've got your teeth. Uh, you've got the, the, the dentary where the teeth hang out you've got your mandible uh, upper mandibles all that one of the other cool things and you can't see it too much here but and this is one of the things i was going to talk about a little bit in this discussion is that these are the nasal holes here or the nostrils and it's pretty cool um i'm going to talk a little bit about smell i'm going to talk a little bit about i get this to turn again talk a little bit about sight and different things so those are their main uh, functions here. Your vents are going to be right above the anal fin here um, and all that. And you know what's cool about this software, Ron, is check this out. So let's peel the skin back. Let's... Mm, uh, the tasty part. Yeah. These are the muscles, right? So um, there's the muscle, muscle sections in here. And you can see these strong muscles for operating the jaw. These uh, up, here, up here for, you know, when operate pull these oculums up but you see here again this is what i was talking about because these are all muscles here so they call these the um <sighs> inclentoris dorsalis muscles and you can see how they're attached to each one of those spiny parts which are cartilage on their like the bones are part of the skeletal structure of the fish but i just thought it was so cool that they're these individual muscles for, we for see all, them all that. the time when we fillet a fish that we're going to eat when we're all done you get those little tiny muscles on the top and if you, you grab hold of it it all comes off in one strip so that yes. all of those little muscles that attach to those fins actually is attached to another muscle that's attached to the main flesh it actually pull right off but they're they're like little tiny teeth um so to speak yeah so as we peel that the muscles back even one more layer, we're going to reveal the skeleton a little bit more here. So um, let me pull that all the way back and then let me hit skeleton I want it right here. So here's kind of the skeletal structure of our fish. And now you can start seeing those olfactory, olfact, olfactory meaning smell uh, areas here. Those are the nerves that are connecting back into the brain. But you can see all these tons and tons of cartilage and all these bones that are in our bony fish. 
uh, and all of that. So when we peel that back, and you can see all these plates. These are so. Most of the people don't realize it, but the apicarum has actually got a bone. It's, there's a bone behind, in that flap of um, skin there that covers the gills, and it protects the gills. So uh, water comes in through the mouth, obviously, uh, and then it, and it runs across the gills. It not only takes the oxygen out, but the gills also will push the uh, CO2 out as well. So if we take this back a little bit, and let's just... I'm going to take a bunch of this off. I'm going to take the digestion out. I'm going to take the uh, urogenital out, which is your waste and sex. Um, I just want to look at the respira respiratory off. And, yeah. Okay, so let me get it to spin again. Come on, spin for me. Put it right about there. And let me uh, roll this music back. God, it's going to put me to sleep. Okay. So <laughs> here we go. We are looking at the nervous system and the circulatory system. So if I take the circulatory off, here's one of the things that I really wanted to talk about. There it goes. And that is this lateral line. Okay. And we see that on our cichlids. You, you actually see the lateral line uh, in, in dark. It gets, there's usually darker on our fish. But that's an organ in the fish, and that organ uh, allows the fish to understand water pressure, so it knows a little bit about its depth, and it also knows the flow of the water. Uh, I found that to be extremely interesting when I was looking at that earlier today. Again, looking at the nervous system, here's the brain. It's not allowing me to turn it exactly the way I want it to. Okay. So here's the brain, and just like a human brain, it has your cerebrum, it's got the optical lobes, the cerebellum, and all that se different sections in there. You can see how this, the um, olfactory, again, the smell is connected up here to the nostrils and the eyes. So this is pretty much the nervous system. This is the spinal cord that runs all the way through. And again, this is the way the uh, fish communicates to its body when it wants to uh, use its fins for control in the water or um, whatnot. It's, and also including, this is how he communicates for those non, what do they call it, non-voluntary uh, functions with the respiratory and circulatory. Anyway, it's such a cool program. Gives you a good, uh, good idea of being, how to look at that stuff. Um, let's pull the respiratory back in. There's two, there, there are several organs in the respiratory, but there are two main ones, and that's your gills here and your swim bladder. And yes, swim bladder is part of the respiratory system. Uh, the, the, like we discussed a little bit before, the water rushes across the gills. It comes through the mouth, it goes across the gills. The gills are able to pull the oxygen out and it also uh, adds the, and pulls it into the blood, goes through the heart, goes through the, the body, and then is also, after it comes out, of the, um, can expel the CO2 as well. Um, the swim bladder, that was a really cool thing to check out. So we've all heard of swim bladder disease. Now, what's the swim bladder? The swim bladder is a, a balloon-like um, uh, sac that holds air that allows the fish to maintain its buoyancy in the water. Uh, he can fill it up, and so he doesn't have to use his fins. There are actually fish that don't have swim bladders, and if they don't um, flap their their fins if they don't do any movement on their fins they sink straight to the bottom so it's the swim bladder but here's the cool thing ron <laughs> that i found out i'm reading all about all this different stuff the swim bladder there's a, a it was a big college paper with a lot of science so i was like okay all right i'll read it but they were saying in african cichlids that the swim bladder the fish use this for hearing as well so the the, the swim bladder is so sensitive that it picks up uh, you know the vibrations and different uh, stuff in the water and it allows them to hear yeah so that that's an interesting fact here too is that where's the ears right do, do fish hear well the the truth of the matter is is that fish do hear um, they hear with inner ears and they call olets and or, or olet rock um, I knew I would forget half the stuff I was reading. I got the notes, but <laughs> here we go. Um, 
one of the other ways that they hear is also through this um through the lateral line uh canal the lateral they pick line up electrical vibrations yeah. and all yeah. sorts of stuff uh sharks are really good for using their lateral lines so yeah. are you know stingrays and stuff for picking yeah. up those little electrical currents yeah yeah so the the you see his big eyes there now do fish what do fish see do they see so i read a lot about this and they're talking about that fish pretty much and they know this by chemical testing and by observation but fish pretty much see as well as humans do they actually see better underwater because they have a film or a uh, uh, sack that goes over the eye that allows them to see better underwater and they also have a more spherical lens so our lenses are a little bit more elliptical they have like almost a perfect round ball inside their eyeball so that was pretty cool um let's see where we're at here let's go ahead and pull the circulatory in and let's put take the respiratory out We've gotta unclick them Okay, so here's the heart, and again, uh, very much like a human body, the, it has the ventricles, or the bulbous uh, radius that comes in um, your ventricle, your atrium, and your sinus venosus or whatever, but, but that's the export. So as it's pumping in, drawing uh, blood in, and then pushing it through. Um, it also has a series of uh, veins, the blue representing the veins here. It's pretty small. You would think that, you know, it it only puts the blood where it needs it. And that's going to be, you know, where the muscles are. It's got to feed the muscles. It's got to keep and the muscles. Just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, in its internals. Yeah. So and then it has its arteries and the red is arteries. Obviously, the brain is going to get that major artery um, as well as the gills. You see here the um, main arteries are pulling that oxygen out, bringing it into the heart, circulating it through, getting it to the muscles and all of that stuff. So. There's your, um, it's just interesting. I, I just got the program. So, and I'm going to share this with you guys, uh, where I got this. It's a pretty cool program. It's like a $25 program, uh, but very, very, very cool. Let's take that out. See if I can get myself back to where we were. Go ahead. How do you know if it's a boy fish or a girl fish? Well, check this out. You want you you want to you want to check that out? Let's do it. I don't know why this fin won't go away, but I guess that's just for for there. So let's go ahead and cut the circulatory back. Bring this back. But if you want to see the insides and outsides, um, I don't understand why the fins aren't going away. Skin. There it goes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the urogenital basically consists of your um, bladders and kidneys the, the, to be able to get the toxins out of the body. How do you flush it? Just like a human. Um, here's your kidney. It's a very long kidney. Kidneys are hooked up to um, the urinary bladder, which will show up down here. This large sac here is a, the testes. And as you can see, this is where it goes for the vent. Uh, but that's where the, the male testes the sperm comes out here in this this vent here um, also the waist has its own um, vent as well now you asked about boy and girl check this out Ron you click up here on this and that's the ovaries so uh, I just changed the model from boy to girl so what's interesting here to me man is how the, they're pretty much the same size do you see that mm-hmm that's crazy the ovaries obviously a little bit bigger they're bigger yeah um, that probably would have been a, a good one on our on my research to find out so I, i've always been fascinated that with humans that females are born with the amount of eggs they're going to have their whole life it'd be interesting to find out about fish if it well, was like fish i mean me being a fisherman um as the fish get larger and more mature um the males will have a, a bigger uh, testes we call a sperm sac that's that's inside there's two you there's two identical pieces they're like a cream colored white now on the females with the egg sacs depending on the maturity may be different sizes and sometimes the egg sacs will be different sizes but um, a female that's not ready to lay eggs won't have any eggs in her at all oh i see um, it's pretty neat yeah and some people like to eat them so. yeah well they call that the row 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the roe. There's another name for the sperm, too. I didn't. I wasn't too interested, so I didn't remember yeah, there's that. Yeah, some good old southern boys that like to eat that as well, but no thank you. You're also going to have the gallbladder in here. You're going to have uh, a spleen. The fish do have spleen for processing blood, getting toxins out of the blood. Um you have your kidneys and you also have your liver. So let's bring the digestion back. Okay. So this is this is what they would call the digestive uh, parts here. That's and why you all have a python because of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so one of the coolest things I found out when I was reading about the digestive and intestines today was that urban, uh, excuse me, pescivores, fish that eat other fish, fish or carnivores you know however you want to look at fish is fish that eat um flesh they have a shorter intestine than say fish that are herbivores that eat plants and grasses and things like that and that has to do with the fibers actually flesh is a lot easier for uh enzymes to break down obviously you've got um here's your stomach and your esophagus and this is uh the mouth of the throat that's the buco pharnageal cavity which we would call on a human as a throat uh, and then your intestines you can see all that in there and then here's your liver right here i can highlight that that liver there is um same as a human it's for processing the blood and getting the waste uh, out of the blood and keep and keeping toxins out of the blood and all of that so um the intestines are rather long but they're kind of short for most um i forget the word but yeah most animals that have intestines like our our intestines are what nine feet long something like 21. that 21 feet so if we were to pull the intestines out of our body and stretched it out uh, without rubber banding it but just stretch, it would be 21 feet this one's acted the fish intestines are about one and a half times the length of its body so it's not as large um it's really wow. unique how they're you know on a lot of land animals you know your heart your lungs your liver your kidneys um, they're all basically very, very, very similar with their outline, their shape, what they look like, whereas fish are very unique. You know, they've adapted to where, you know, look where the kidneys are. I mean, it doesn't even look like a kidney. Yeah. Um, and then the liver and the heart, it's, it's really unique the way Mother Nature has designed their organs and where, where they've been put in the body. Absolutely. The kidney is the one that looks the strangest to me. Look how long that thing is. It's like a big is. worm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is kind of interesting, too. I, I would like to, you know, there's obviously limitations with this model. Um, I wish, there, you know, there was some further in depth. I wouldn't mind knowing what these holes are for. I guess that's to let the water pass through into the gills, right? Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Well, the, that that's where, cavity, the, that's where the gill that, is, yeah. Well, there's two parts there. So that, that we call it a buccal cavity that's yeah. in the very front. That's their main mouth where, you know, females hold babies. That's yeah. where they trap their prey. And then that other part that you're looking at there is in the back of the throat where the where the water is brought over the gills. And then the, the whole throat stomach part is, is right there past the gills, basically, where there's that muscle that closes like a sphincter, basically, yeah. and closes off. That's the esophagus right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm right before the stomach so the food comes in food and water and actually you know what's really cool that i'm thinking about it um you can concur if you if i'm right here so we you've seen fish bring it in especially i'm thinking of my oscar he brings in some monster munch it's one of his favorite things from ron's food he brings it in and he brings it and he's crushing it in here Okay, so he's using this to break it down, but these holes. Chunks flying out the gills. Yeah, you see chunks flying out the gills, so the, I see how that works. But it's also uh, the water coming in and rushing ever, over the gills. Ever feed him a goldfish? I fed him one fish one time. Because usually um, fish like that, <laughs> yeah. when they when they eat a live fish, they'll do that a few times, and then um, they'll just the scales will come flying out their gills. It looks oh. like a, like a confetti show. That's crazy. Yeah, so um, I always found it interesting that you can feel the fish's pulse back here in these muscles back here in the 
I was going to get that name, but you can feel it pulsing through this muscle right here, the latterus muscle. This muscle will, if you're, so um, it's real on a human, right? You got your wrist under the armpit, in the leg pit, uh, under the neck and all that. Great place to check for a pulse. Checking for a pulse on a fish is really uh, back here in this part of the tail back here. These muscles are interesting as well right here. Costal fin. So this is a really cool program. I, like I said, I'll, sh I'll sh go ahead and share it with you guys. I don't, you know, you've seen it now. I don't know how many people want to ever look again, but it's, it's a good, cool teaching tool. I think we went over almost everything in there. I'm going to bring this back to here. There's our perch. Bring it back dark. Sorry, I'm still getting used to using this program. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, this is kind of intro 101. I wanted to talk, if, you know, a little bit about those things. I would rather just kind of throw this at you guys now, right? And then let you guys ask a bunch of questions from there. You know, there's a ton of areas in which this can go. I'm going to bring us back up here real quick. All right. So... That's, uh, I don't even know what the name of the program is. Let me look down here. It's called um, 3D Fish Anatomy version 1.1. Um, so, yeah. Um, hoping people call in. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and then we're going to come back and answer some questions um, about that. I skipped a bunch of stuff there, Ron, but we'll, it's, we'll, we'll get it in questions, I think. All right, everyone. June's the month for this. Uh, our sponsor for the show is Acrylic Habitats. Mike and Cheyenne Frosty, uh, Steve Frosty, with that used to be called Windrider Creations, are now called. Um, I don't know what happened to the music there. Um, they're now called Acrylic Habitats. They got a new website that's coming uh, very soon. Uh, they build amazing sumps and filters they build amazing aquariums but some of the things that you don't know that about acrylic habitats is they also build bird cages enclosures and carriers and you'll see a picture coming up here soon uh, there's the bird cages they're really really cool they're very modular uh, meaning that you can add things to it these and one of the things i really liked was the spinning food dispensers and things like that anyway great company great people really love these guys um we appreciate them sponsoring that and we're going to be giving away one of their wet dry filters here this in june so here's a project i've been working on called tank boss tank boss is a game show for social media it's a television production style game show uh, basically, you apply to be a contestant, and if you're chosen, you're already a winner. The format is three contestants will battle it out with general aquarium knowledge. Uh, one person will be eliminated. The final two go into the champion round. They will battle it out. And finally, one winner will go into the bonus round and be, get to be called the tank boss. All right, so I encourage you all to... Um, to apply to be a contestant. You don't have to be an expert. This is not a game show for experts. And actually, we'll probably kind of do our best to, if we see some experts or whatnot, we'll try to get them all on one show to kind of, you know, bracket it out a little bit. Anyway. Ron Cichlid's uh, Facebook groups. Come check them out. They're really growing a lot. Pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to run right to the member of the week video. Oh, no. We'll just we'll just come back and we'll try to get some questions answered here. This uh, may, may pull up. By the way, if you do star info, you can apply for Tank Boss. You'll see it there. It's in the... It's in the chatbot menu. Also, you'll see Acrylic Habitats there, uh, information to their websites and all of that. So, again, chatbot, that's the way to interact with this show. It's really awesome. All right, so I'm looking here. 
don't think I, I, I'm going to have to go through the questions. So we don't have anyone feeding us any questions. Did you see any questions there, Ron? I haven't seen any. Uh, Mindy Pulse is asking, what does live bearing fish looks like? Oh, I think the only difference would be their genitalia. Yeah. Um, Missy says she needs the call-in ID. Okay. So let's uh, put that up real quick. If you guys are looking to call into the show, let me take the music off because I don't want to hear that right now. Here's the meeting ID is 875-995-2679. We have moderators in the chat tonight that can also do that. But the best way to do it is star info. That will give you the phone number and it will also give you the meeting ID. So if you click through this, that, it will give you that stuff. Um, all right. All right, so any other questions in there? Monster Munch. Yeah, that, I'm just looking at some of the comments. Yeah, you know, it's true. Your fish do see you. They see details as well. Um, through the glass and through the water. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of questions, which is cool. There's no problems in there. If anybody would like to call in, uh, we can do that. Let's call in. Anybody having a hard time with the call in? Besides Missy, I hope she's got it. Um... All right. Well, I'm f I'm thumbing through all of the chats. Michael Anderson asked, "What makes the swim bladder blow up?" Um, you can get, you know, on a swim bladder, you hear swim bladder disease, and the fish have issues swimming. It's usually an infection of their swim bladder, and um, it may be inflamed or may not. They may not have control of regulating. Um, their buoyancy um, because of it, which gives them swimming issues. Yeah. It's usually an infection. Yeah. It's a, actually a very sensitive organ for fish. Um, like I said, you know, I was reading about how the swim bladder, the, they can feel the vibrations and pressure changes and all of that and use it for hearing supplements, their inner ear and all that. We do have a collar, so let's bring the collar on. Uh, what's going on, caller? You are on Fish Talk Live tonight. Where are you calling hey from? Guys. Yeah, which, who's this? Uh, Missy. Hey, Missy. Missy. Great. You made hey, it. Missy. Pennsylvania. Nice. Awesome. Glad to have you on. It has nothing to do with anatomy. It has to do with fishies, though. Um, when a female has babies, does she increase the amount of eggs she has and holds each time she has. She can, depending on the age, yes. Um, um, a juvenile female um, can, um, as they be become more mature, the, they will have more and more and more eggs um, until they get to a certain point and then they start to regress. So for us breeders, Yes, um, we the first few times there's not a whole lot of babies, but as they get bigger and more mature, uh, a lot. I mean, I have my bristle nose plecos just the other day, two three and a half inch fish. I've got 150 fry from from two three and a half inch fish. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hey, uh, do you want to be one of the spin win winners tonight? Sweet. Yeah, we're we're well that your number number one. We got the chat bot one, and we're going to pull the next one later. So um, you'll be number two when we spin, okay? Well, actually, we can do it right okay, now. Okay. We, we can do it right now. We can do it right now. That is not okay. a problem. So I'm really, really, really trying to encourage people to call in. 
You know, th this show is really super awesome. So I try to call in every single time. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't. Oh, we don't. Do, likes to win stuff. Yeah, we don't always do this. I don't care whether I win or not. Yeah. I just like to call and talk to you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. She, so she, Miss, Missy called in and talked to us a couple of shows ago while the show was over. She was just talking. <laughs> <laughs> show yeah. was already over, and Missy called in to shoot the breeze with Dave and I. Yeah, so when the sh when the show ends, Ron and I, we have 15 minutes or so that we're talking about how did things go and all that. And we're so we're, we're so the software's still running and then all of a sudden it's like bing bong. <laughs> it's like who's calling? That was me. Yeah, that was you. That was awesome. All right. So, uh here is our spin to win. Let me pull that up. There's Sage. We have a dog visiting for us today. Hey Sage. What's up, girl? Um I just got to find it here. Bear with me. All right. There's the spin to win wheel. And let's uh, center that out. There we go. All right. So give me a color. Green. Green. Light green, male green, or, or dark green? Dark green. All right. So uh, uh, 3 o'clock or 10 o'clock? Uh, let's go 10 o'clock. Okay. So I'm going to grab the dark green at 10 o'clock. Now I'm going to... Twist it to until it gets to a um, a, a new one. So give me again a, a number on the clock, one through twelve. Six. Six. So we're taking the dark green, which, by the way, says big win, large fish on it, and that's what we're hoping you're going to win a fish here. And we're going to spin it. So good luck. Here we go. And it's spinning. I don't think you guys can hear the sound, but it clicks on my end. You won a Seacam Safe 250 grams. Congratulations. Congrats, Great. Missy. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go. Let me go here. Okay, so we have a new way to do winners. Um, I need you to go. <laughs> do you, you? We were talking earlier on the chat. Isn't that right? Yes, we were. Yeah, yeah. So you remember when I was telling you to go to the menu? Did you find the menu? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So in that menu under fit claim winner part. Yep, absolutely. And run that through, and that way we can uh, make sure we have all the right information and everything. So that's how you're going to claim. Can do. All right, awesome. Thanks for calling in. It's good talking. Thanks, guys. Ron says goodbye too. <laughs> He, he's distracted with his medication. <laughs> he's on. He's on medication. All right, we'll talk. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye bye. All right, so there is that. Um, let's go ahead and look at the member of the video of the week. Um, I, I still am seeing some some questions in it, but it's just it, they're going past me too fast. So I can, I apologize. There was another one. Someone asked about the program, the three D program. Can you see the vent holes? Yes and no. You mostly see the tubes for the towards the bladder and for the um, the genital part. Uh, but is it going to teach you how to vent a African cichlid? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> it's not. Even even with pictures, it won't yeah. teach you. It has uh, it's a learn process depending on the age of the fish. So. Yeah. Our member of the week video today is coming from Mr. Scott DeFore. Can you see it, Ron? Do you want to talk about his? This is his African cichlid tank. I think he needs to get rid of all of those fish and get some more new ones for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, the uh, thing is, you can't lift up a bucket. How are you going to do it? <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to come here. Beautiful fish. Got a uh, Malawi hawk, a trout, some uh, fluorescent yellow blaze, um, dolphin, you know, star sapphire in there, an albino dolphin, uh, pombo rocks, yellow chin. Uh, Taiwan Reef. Yeah. Um, beautiful assortment. Nice VC10 in there. Um, beautiful assortment of fish. Yeah. It's su super awesome. I appreciate it. We're doing things different. So before, um, it used to allow us to um, download. I had a, an extension on my Chrome browser that I could download videos from the clubhouse. Something's happened with Facebook that, you know, how they do that. They change stuff. They never tell you. So now, in order to get your videos, send us videos. Send us videos. I made it super easy. Again, in the chat bot, in the menu, under Fish Talk Live, it says upload video. I'm looking at Ron. You're not looking too good, buddy. I'm not doing good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing good. Hey, you know, um, 
if you either want to bow out, that's fine. I'm going to rush through the show probably here. I, I need to go. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm in rough shape right now. Um, I'll see the doctor tomorrow. I'll try to keep everybody up to breast, but uh, the pain's coming on pretty strong right now, and I'm not feeling good. So Yeah. Go feel better, bro. We'll finish this out. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you right, being man. here, man. You are a trooper. Love you um, guys. Yeah. Talk to you guys. Talk to you later. All right, brother. Well, Thank you. All right. Take care, bro. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish out the show. I showed you the member video of the week. Obviously, we're not going to have a fish of the week because we're trying to pull back up from Ron a little bit. Let's let Ron... You know, he's probably not going to be fulfilling fish sales and all that once he gets all this stuff from Memorial Day. So he's dealing with all that, handling all that. Um, no fish of the week uh, video, but we are going to spin to win. Uh, we're still going to draw one other person for that. Uh, and we're also going to um, spin for, uh, I forget his name, and now I have no one to <laughs> back me up, but the guy from earlier, we'll look him up. We. Wade Aguilar. Yeah, Wade. Okay, so we'll spin for Wade, and then we'll pick one more person for that. Let's go ahead and take one last caller, and then we'll do that. So we have a caller that came in. What's going on? Hey, caller, can you turn your... Um, the show version down on the volume. Is there any possible way just and and talk with me here? I got you. It's going on. Caller, and then we'll do that. So we have a caller that came in. What's going on? Are you there, caller? Hello. Yeah. Hi. How are you? You're on Fish Talk Live. Oh. Thanks for calling. Wait. In. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. So h how are you? Do you have a question for, for me tonight? Ron? Yeah, I'm very fine. Thank yeah. you. Good. Ron, Ron had to bow out. Apologize about that. He's in some pain. So. Uh, we'll see if I can answer the question. If I can, I'm sure that we can get people in the chat or in the in the clubhouse to answer it. So, well, my, are you are you there? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Well, um, I have some red-shouldered severns that I have five of them that I'm trying to get a pair. Yeah. And so I wanted to know. Okay, I have. How will I know when I have a pair? Well, your best bet and the best way to uh, know if you have females and males is to vent your fish. Uh, venting is, like Ron just said, uh, is a skill that <laughs> you learn over time. Right. Yeah. So your best bet is to find an expert that can do that, that can look at your uh, fish. Venting basically is looking at the vents down below uh, and looking at the size of the top vent. A large one is going to be um, for a female, and the smaller one or similar size to the anal fin uh, anal vent um, is going to be male. In general, that's how it is. Um, so I, I don't have a, a great answer for you, but the best bet is to find an expert that can do that for you. Hey, anybody that's listening right now, if you know how to uh, determine the sex on a red severum, uh, Let's help her out and do that. You can also tell by fin size. You know, I have a, a um, South American tank as well with convicts in there, uh, blue acaras and all that. In general, males will have pointier fins. The, the, the dorsal fin and that anal fin will be really, really, really pointy. Uh, and uh, females will be a little bit more rounded. Um, but that's... Okay. Good, yeah, that's that's a good way to kind of get used to it. I don't have red severums or a lot of experience with them, so I don't know the differences between those sexes. Um, some fish, the colors will be slightly different. On on a on a convict, uh, you'll get the females will have some orange on her side, and things like that. So, anyway, I appreciate you calling. And what was your name, and where are you calling from? I'm Cheryl Coley from um, Edmond, Oklahoma. 
Awesome. Are you guys getting flooded out there in Edmond? Pardon? Are you getting flooded? I've I've been noticing the weather's oh, really bad yeah, in Oklahoma. Yeah, we yeah. sure are. Yeah. I joke about I have alligators in my front yard. So <laughs> sorry to hear that. Appreciate you calling <laughs> it's in. It's really been bad. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate you calling in. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and uh, do the giveaway. Okay, so every week what we do is we will pick a hashtag and then we'll give you about a, a minute or so to type the hashtag directly into the live chat. Uh, if, you're hash if you're picked from that hashtag, you will be spinning to win. So uh, here we go. Uh, the hashtag is going to show up here. Um, waiting for it to come. Let's see. The hashtag that we're going to use today is Aquarium Addict. So that's Aquarium Addict. And you'll see it right there. Here it comes. So while this is playing, you can type in Aquarium Addict. So it kind of needs to be spelled correctly. So, you know, pound, aquarium, addict is spelled A-D-D-I-C-T. You'll see it on the bottom coming up here. So our hashtag for tonight to spin to win is going to be aquarium addict. There it is. It should be right there in front of you now. Aquarium addict. Yeah, go ahead and put that in right now. We're going to draw somebody to spin the win. Yeah, Aquarium Addict is our hashtag for tonight. So go ahead and put that in there. And then we'll go ahead and pick. Got a few more uh, seconds here. Aquarium Addict is the hashtag. Type it in there with the hashtag. Hashtag Aquarium Addict. Put it in there. All right, so let's go ahead and all right. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that down. That should have given everybody plenty of time. We'll go ahead and we'll go to the software here. Um, here it is. I'm going to refresh the software. I, I did this before. Let's see if I can move this over here. All right, so now I'm kind of out of the way. Here's our software. We are looking for Aquarium Addict. Let me go back. All right, so I'm still waiting for it to come in. So give it one more second here. Apologize about this. You know, sometimes this happens. So let me go ahead and go. You know what? I, you know what's one of my biggest pet peeves in the whole world is they change um, the software. The, they'll change the back end of it. So you're used to doing something, and, and they just did that on me here too. All right. All right, it's not showing up, so that's simple, okay? So we'll give everybody the opportunity right here. We're just going to do it by whoever commented on this post. And the users can only enter one time, and we're going to pick the winner right here. That other winner is, and let me just pull it up here. So that person here, uh, it's showing here, is a Chorus P, okay? So I need to know if a Chorus P is here, um, if the moderators can watch that and 
can do that and then tell me if they're here. So um, don't run off because it's, it's not a sure thing right yet. Chorus. Yep, that's what it says, a Chorus P. So are you there? I'm trying to pull my... Um, I'm um, just looking here again as well. Cheryl Coley was asking what number it is to call in. I show it usually at the beginning. I show it at the middle, but you can always find it through the chat bot. Again, that is star info. Um, we're looking for a Chorus P. Chorus P. I'm going to give this exactly 30 seconds right now. Akaris, if you're online right now and you want to spin to win, you need to say I'm here. Uh, got 20 seconds. I'm looking here to see who's telling me what's up. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. I didn't realize I changed that out. Let me go over here. Okay, Akaris is here. All right, buddy. So congratulations, Akaris and Wade. We are going to spin twice for you. So I'm going to pull the wheel up. The first one's going to be for Wade. Um, because there's a delay, I, normally I would ask. I would ask people. I'd be like, okay, so how do we want to do this? So I'm just going to automatically pick that. So I'm going to refresh right now real quick. That resets it. I'm going to pick yellow. I'm going to pick this Wi-Fi smart power strip right here on the right. It's at number three. I'm going to pull that around until we get it to number nine opposite. This is for you, Wade. Um, here we go. And I'm going to tell you guys how to to claim your prize again uh, here after we do this. So a car, uh, Wade just won two, uh, some Purigen, Seachem Purigen. Congratulations, Wade, on that. Um, the way you... I'll, I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you how to claim the prize here in just one sec. Let's go ahead and do it again. So I'm going to refresh. Uh, oh, and this time I'm play drum roll. <laughs> so this one I'm going to pick this orange one on twelve, and I'm going to bring it down to six. So there we go, orange at six, and this is for a chorus P, a chorus P. Let's hope you win a large box of fish. Wouldn't that be awesome? Or I mean a large fish, is what I meant to say. So this is a great uh, prize right here, a gallon of K1 Media. If you're not sure what K1 Media is, K1 is a, um, is a, a bio, biological media. It's got a lot of surfaces. It's really cool, extruded plastic. It's really cool. So um, there you go. Those are that. That's the winning for that. I'm gonna pull my camera back up. Here I am. That's my tank in the back. If you see up on the top left, that was my uh, Tetra Stigma. I love that fish. Anyhow, thank you so much, uh, Fish Talk Live. Today was uh, we were talking about fish anatomy again. I didn't get into all of the details. Um, our shows are designed to stimulate conversations on social media in the groups and in our chats and things like that. So let's continue this conversation about fish anatomy. If you have any questions, go ahead and you can put them in the chat here or you can send them through Fish Talk Live, through the chat bot, whatnot. Uh, we do read everything and try to answer everybody's stuff. Hey, um, reach out to Ron, all right? Reach out to Ron and wish him some good well because he is in bad shape right now so um i appreciate you ron for being on here um we wish you well we wish you get get well real soon and take some rest and all that i know what it's like when you're in pain and there's nothing that will take it away it sucks anyway it's been it was a great show i appreciate everybody coming on uh don't forget to like and subscribe to Ron Cichlid's page, the Fish Talk Live page. That's how it keeps the show going. That's what keeps us our numbers up. Really appreciate it. Thank you for bearing with me uh, today since uh, the, I had to do quite a bit on the show as far as that goes. And uh, when Ron's feeling better, we'll get him back and cracking the whip and getting him teaching you guys some cool stuff. So I appreciate everybody. Um, after the credits, I, I have something cool for you. So what I do every week is after the credits, I play something. This week, 
I usually go find r new video. So this week is some new drone footage, Lake Malawi, uh, Mumbo Island, and it was shot like 12 days ago. So this is uh, a good look at Malawi. All right, everybody, appreciate you. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.